Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go play action here on first down, escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there on the first play of the game. 48 yards. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. So now then, the big play Take has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off play action, Henderson, pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. They'll roll him out right. That was, and this is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. 33 yards that time. Well, how about the passing numbers so far on this first drive? Oh, no doubt about it. They're playing it around pretty successfully. And look at the start. The confidence level that we see in him rising because he's hit a few early. And how about the last one? The big shot right there. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out. But does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. It's an old-fashioned goal line stand. Nothing on the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero as the offense gets ready to take over the football. Come on, set. 70, Indy. Let's go one more. Be Be Throwing on first down. Henderson eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 
Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Off the play fake. Henderson steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Looking to throw. Henderson forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Flushed out right. And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Park. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Off play action. Henderson flushed to his right. Now he's going to throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Here's a second and seven. On the move to his left. He'll try and run it. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Henderson escaping the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dante Hightower make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Looking to throw. Henderson buying time to his left. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake. Henderson eluding the pressure right. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. On first and goal, Drake. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Off the bootleg, Henderson sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. 
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run with Drake. The 20. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kenyon Drake with his... We pick it up second quarter here as the offense gets ready for the drive. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come out here. Come get some. He don't want it. Hit it. On first and ten, Henderson being chased out left. He's going to take off with it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. On first down, Henderson flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They can't. Well, that was their third sack of the ball game. Second in the league in sacks coming into this one. They're planning on making it a race to the top, aren't they? Absolutely. They're looking up at that top spot, but they might be looking down at the second spot pretty soon. Now he'll pull it down. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Ready, ready. Ten logo. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. And in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. So following the fumble, this offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. Following the fumble recovery, Henderson escaping the pressure right. And this is Parker complete. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Back to throw. Henderson eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball. And right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Second and five. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And the Miami Dolphins are into the end zone. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down. Henderson. Flush to his right. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a draw play with Drake. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looking to throw on second down. Henderson escaping the... This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. They'll get 34 yards there. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out, so two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. To throw on second down. Henderson, eluding the pressure right. And well, this is caught. It's Parker. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. We got this. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And you know, he may not have the franchise tag, but I bet they're relieved to have that deal done, keep him around. And he's a good guy, a valuable player to them, and they wanted to make sure they had him around. Good team chemistry, always hard to find, and when you've got it, you don't want to let it get away. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week 6. We'll start up at New Era Field just outside of Buffalo, and it's the Bills with the lead in the second quarter. Zay Jones, a touchdown reception. From there, we head over to the Windy City. Check on the Bears at home, Soldier Field. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Houston Texans. Deshaun Watson, strong in the victory as his guys run their record to 6-1 and one on the campaign. Finally, let's get over to Carson. See what's happening with the Chargers at home at Dignity Health Sports Park. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, set, 18, Gator. Here we go, here we go. Shoot. On first and 10, Henderson. His throw incomplete. Devontae Parker unable to hang on, and that'll bring up second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. Pass the 20, 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker is set. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, here we go. 60 Pittsburgh. Let's go, deep tight. Off play action. Henderson flushed out right. And throw right side complete to Parker. 20. 10, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 75 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll try to run this one in. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a second and goal. They stay on the ground with Drake. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. That didn't just feel like good defense, though. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. 
And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. The safety. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Set up, 50, plant. Blue there, blue there. On first down, Henderson rolling to his right. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. The 20. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A big play there for the Dolphins. 61 yards. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Henderson. Ebron caught left side. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that'll make it third and goal. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Taking it in from seven yards. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Throwing on first down. Henderson dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Right back to Dre. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. On fourth down, Henderson. Oh no, he lost the football. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots defense is going to take over. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set go. to take over. Gator. You remember me? You remember me? Let's go, man. On first and ten, Henderson. He'll buy some time right. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker. Set. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Here we go, D.A. On first down, Drake. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 
And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Going to throw right side here, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. That one looks like he'll throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Throwing on third and long. Bryant. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. from the last drive, he'll look to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll look to throw. It's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called.